Hello everyone, this is Steven from the Even Steven channel and today's video is going to kind of be like a channel update or a channel introduction. So my name is Steven, as you might guess by the channel name. Uh, and just as I'm making this video, we have just passed 1,000 subscribers. I think it's 1,012 at this moment, which you might say, oh, it's just a number. You know, if you had 999 or 1,000, it's make a difference. And it kind of does. Because once you get to 1,000 subscribers, you can start getting advertising money from YouTube. Before that, even if you have a million videos and a million views on each video, YouTube will not give you money unless you have 1,000 subscribers. This is criteria. You have to have 1,000 subscribers and then so many hours viewed and this and this. And the only thing I didn't have was the 1,000 subscribers. So finally, I can start getting some of that YouTube advertising money that YouTube has been getting for the last year or two. So that's great. And um, if you look at the channel, if you look at the videos there, they're mostly firearms related. You know, got my Glock 19 here. Unloaded. Breda PX4, PX4 Storm. Unloaded. And my SIG P250. Unloaded. All 9 mm nine millimeter handguns all wearing these uh, Black Hawk Omnivore holster rails. So I'm going to continue to make videos about firearms whenever I whenever I have one something that's worth talking about. But I like to try to do a few other things. I like to try to do I, when I initially made started this channel I envisioned doing kind of a mix of video games and movies and guns and just seemed like kind of settled into guns for whatever reason just seemed like maybe that was what I was least terrible at and that just seemed to be what people kind of wanted out of me so I kind of just settled into doing just gun videos however I would like to do some other things in the channel once in a while but still primarily guns so that's point number two uh, number two is there is going to be a firearms auction in New Jersey uh, the auction house is called Sunrise Auction. They're going to have a Black Friday uh, firearms auction. So it's going to be, what is that? Uh, Black Friday, I think it's the 25th? Whatever next Friday is. And if it's past the, you know, if it's more than a week past the day I make this video, then it doesn't matter. But on Black Friday 2022, Sunrise Antiques, that's the name of the place. You can go look it up online. Sun, Sunrise Antiques It's going to have this big 300 firearm auction. I think it's like 340 firearms. Now, why would I mention that? First of all, it's kind of interesting. And second of all, a number of my firearms are going to be in that. Um, you know, of note, my uh, Marlin 1894, my Beretta 1301, and my Winchester 1873, which, you know, that's the kind of the more uh, high profile guns in that auction. I mean, there's a lot of ones that are worth much more than that, but of the ones I own, those are going to be in there. So if you happen to want a Marlin 1894 SBL or Winchester 1873 or a, what was the other one? Beretta 1301, those will all be in that auction. I just, you know, had to downsize the collection a little bit. And, uh, you know, a number of firearms had to go there. So if you go to Google and type in Sunrise Antiques, it'll come up. I don't think I'm allowed to link that with uh, YouTube. But if you, you know, type, type in Sunrise Antiques New Jersey, that will come up and you can see that that uh, auction coming up. Now lastly, also on Black Friday at Recoil, Recoil Shooting Range in Monroe, New Jersey, they're going to have that little their little Black Friday shoot and it's a slow fire contest where you shoot at this turkey target and you know the, it's a slow fire contest, take as much time as you want. Uh, it's a handgun competition, iron sights only, and whoever gets the best score wins basically. So I think I did that last year or the year before and I think I got like 10th place. However, uh, there are absolutely no prizes for 10th place. It's 1, 2, or 3. So I could say I got 10th place in the contest just by just kind of, kind of looking at the scores. I, I had a just a, had a guess. I think I got 10th place that year that I went. Um, you know, 10th place doesn't do anything. I'm going to try to do it again. I was trying with my SIG P250. However, the SIG P250 does not like this tool of steel cased ammo. And in fact, this case. I got jammed up real hard in there. Actually, I could not get it out. The extractor simply was unable to pull out this casing. It was stuck in so bad. The extractor was slipping over 
the casing. I had to basically punch it out. I had to lock the slide back. I got physically a punch, and I punched out. It was really, it came out real easy once I had that punch, but the extractor was not strong enough to pull that out, and I was worried about damaging the extractor. I don't think I have. However, uh, yeah, steel-cased ammo can wear out your, your extractor a little quicker. So I was planning on doing that competition with my SIG PT-50. I was pro uh, practicing with it. It is a very accurate gun. It's probably the most accurate gun of these three here um, when you take your time. So that, that's a consideration too. Uh, and this would have been the gun I was going to use and the, the gun I was practicing with. And unfortunately, um, it's not liking the steel-cased ammo. And this is pretty much all I have over at this point. So I'm going to use this up. And I'm going to have to start practicing with either the Beretta PX4 Storm or the Glock 19, but I should be at that competition on Friday. And hopefully, I don't know, get a prize, maybe. Huh. And that is pretty much the channel update I have so far. If you've never seen in this channel before, I hope you stick around. I hope you have other videos you can watch. If you've been around for a while, thank you for sticking around. Uh, again, if you have been around, please do all that like, sharing, and subscribing. Or if you haven't, you know, either way. Leave any comments. And I will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.